Right, the next one is fill and replace, um, and again it needs a selection. This is a very useful tool. You will find you'll be using this a lot, probably. Um, so we select cobblestone. Now that will just fill the whole block, selected block with cobblestone. You'll just have a cube of cobblestone. But we don't want that. We want to fill and replace. So you got to click. I mean, fill, don't get me wrong, fill is useful. Um, you know, if I want to build a big flat plane over here of cobble, I will just drag the square and hit fill, and bang, it's all cobble. That's useful. But this is not what we're doing here. We're doing the replace. So click replace, um, and let's replace it with sponge. Okay, so that finds any cobblestone within that selected cube and replaces it with sponge. Um, or we can swap, so it finds any sponge and replaces it with cobblestone, but we know there's no sponge in there, so let's hit replace. Deselect. All our cobblestone has now turned to sponge. What that's going to do for a well, I'm not entirely sure. Probably not good. Um, again, fill and replace. Now you always have to one thing that does slightly annoy me is you always have to select, even if the one you want is there, you still have to select um, and click OK. And replace again, OK. Swap. Find sponge, replace with cobblestone. Yay! Very, very, very useful tool. Um, filter. <sighs> to be honest with you, I haven't got a bloody clue. I've never used it. Makes water in the region flood outwards and downwards, becoming a full source block to the process of water. Flood water. There you go. No idea what that does. Never used it. Um, deselect. I've made quite a few maps and never used it, so the chances you'll need it are fairly small. Now, somebody, Vex for instance, might come along here and say, no, wait, that's a really, really good tool for something. And then maybe if we... Ooh, brush. This has been experimenting now, which I shouldn't really be doing in the middle of a tutorial, but... Unked water. Zoom out one... Right, so I've put water in that block. Now, obviously, that's not going to do anything. If I select this whole cube again, I could have done that a bit quicker, but uh, oh, never mind. And then press filter and flood water. Will that? Yes, now you see that spread the water. Makes water in the region flood outwards and downwards, becoming full source blocks. Fill. Oops. Deselect. So, what that has done, I believe, is. Has it? Has it just filled it with water? It hasn't filled it with water. I presume. No, it can't have. I was going to say, it's activated that water block and it's dropped down, but. It wouldn't fill the sides, would it? I don't know what that's done. Don't know what that's done at all. Well, I know it's filled up with water, but I don't know why. Anyway, screw it. We don't need, don't need it. Don't care. Import. Um, click on that, and that will enable you to import schematics. When they come in, they will work just like the clone paste tool. Um, I don't know if I've got any... arenas. These are arenas from our last competition, uh, which, to be honest, I could probably get rid of. Let's just open one at random. Actually, that's probably going to give it a seizure. See, this, when I made that arena map, and if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, this was why it was taking quite a while to build, because Big ass. Um, I'm going to plonk loads of these down 
grounded. Anyway, again, it works all in the same way. I mean, these are these are just chunks, so theoretically I could put it over here. In fact, that's where chunk align would be quite useful. Come on, chunk align. There you go. So there's a use for chunk align because I've this schematic is selected as chunks in the first place. They will fit nicely. And then yeah, copy here, copy water, import, blah blah blah. Let's hit escape. Don't need that. Um, but yes, obviously, importing schematics is probably one of the primary reasons for somebody to open up MC Edit, especially if they haven't played with it before. So, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, move player. Um, as it says on the tin, uh, it takes your, you see he was on top of this little hut here, you can see his head, um, and you can move him somewhere else. Um, if you're on a multiplayer server, if you click player, you'll get a list of all the players' locations. Well, if you've got a map from a multiplayer server, should I say. Um, and then you can quickly zoom to them as well, which is quite useful, especially on larger maps. I might move spawn point. This is also something that people will probably need. Sometimes the spawn has a tendency to corrupt and move itself outside of your town or something like that for no particular reason. Uh, for some reason, the spawn on this map is inside the earth. So you can just move it around. Uh, I don't know why it's red. Why is it red? You can't have two air blocks at Y63 and Y64 in your spawn points column. Additionally, you cannot have a solid block in the three blocks above your spawn point. It's weird. That's just a little quirk of Minecraft, which luckily they know about. So if it's red, you can't place it. Um, but let's, let's move it over here to the desert, shall we? Back to our village. Here's our village. There you go. Job is a good one. And then finally, chunk control. Um, this again is. Give me a select back. Grayed out until you've got a selection. Um, it's the big boy. This can really screw your day up. Create chunks, delete chunks, prune chunks, relight chunks, and extract chunks. Right. Um, this is like the hardcore. Um, let's go over here and... Drag a rectangle, select chunks. Again, we're in the select tool here at the moment. Go to chunk control. Create chunks. Now, okay, and you've got two options. Minecraft server and flatland. I don't have Minecraft server uh, installed, so that will give me some rude errors. <coughs> we'll automatically download and use the latest version. Click me to install your own Minecraft server jar if you have any. Um, I don't know what that means. But this is the key phrase. This cannot be undone. This is badass. Likewise, flat land will just generate flat land. Flat. Um, big, bad, and ugly. Don't do it unless you know you want to. Likewise with delete. Um, delete the chunks. This is quite useful, say, on the Minecraft server, which we are on. If we are currently at a point where we're on an island waiting for 1.9, um, and people were told not to explore around, some people have crept out from the boundaries, 
Um, so what we will do is when the new update is there we will crop the area back to the island. Um, there's two ways of doing that. We can delete the chunks or we can select the area. <coughs> Again selecting chunks just makes everything nice and even. Um, you've got chunk block edges so you know how to join things together and stuff. And um, prune. <coughs> prune is like an inverse delete. Um, everything that is selected will stay and everything outside of that area will go. Um, again, this is big. It will remove them from the disk. Um, it's permanent. Do not do unless you need to. Um, this is what I did for those arenas I just imported earlier. I selected the whole, all the chunks around the arenas, pruned it, and then saved that as a schematic because that cut down all the file sizes that are in there. Relight, recalculate light values across the selected chunks. This isn't quite so fatal. We can happily do that. Um, and it will relight all the chunks. Um, why are we relighting chunks, you may ask? Well, um, deselect that. Control D for deselect, just like Photoshop. You see, we've got a bit of shadow here, and everything's all nicely hunky dory. Now, if I stick a block here, bang, all my lighting's gone on that column. Um, so, we need to select an area and chunk control or relight and it will relight that chunk and all those dark areas have gone <coughs> excuse me it will do that automatically when you save anyway um, so you don't need to worry about doing that too much but sometimes you are in a cave or something and you're making adjustments and it's all gone a bit wonky donkey and you want to know what's going on you can do that but to be honest it's easier and probably better just to save. It's fairly stable, so unless you are dealing with huge areas, you shouldn't have too many problems, but do save regularly anyway, because that's just common sense, really. Um, and then extract, uh, extract these chunks into the chunk files. Pfft, when are you going to need that ever? Probably never. If you do, it's there. So, I mean, that's the tools. It's pretty straightforward. You're only really limited um, to, obviously, your imagination, as it were. Um, if you want to make a cave, you know, underground, let's find an area of underground that's actually not full of people and things. Um, then... You know, you can make... Come here, oh look, this is a, a block on its own. So, you would have it solid block of air. Bamo. Cobblestone. Hollow. Noise. Oh, look, you can see diamond in there. Um, now we need to line this up, and this is going to be tricky. Oh, you're a bugger. There you go. Something like that is close enough. Blammo. Select button. It's quite a natural looking cave already, you see. Pretty straightforward. Um, now, if we go, if you hold down Control, you'll get this start window back up, <coughs> and you'll get a couple of useful little bits and bobs. Go to World Info, uh, Control Z is Undo, obviously. Um, control A, select all. Control D, deselect. 
So this is but if we go to is it graphics show hidden all right watch the difference. like a starfield. Um, it is counting aluminium as ore, which doesn't really help. But you can see already that makes navigating underground a lot more difficult. Of course, if you want to place a room purposely next to some naturally occurring diamond then you can however what will probably be easier is to make a room and put some diamond in it uh, but it's quite useful to see if you want to there's another another spawner there another one yeah another spawner um woo. so don't use that unless you absolutely have to because it's a pain in the backside. Um, likewise, draw and en show entities. There you go. It highlights them. Zombie spawner chest. You can double click these things, um, find out what's going on in there, add things to them. Likewise, the spawner. Spawner is just a brush that you put down, it's just in the brushes list. Change the spawner into something a little bit more interesting. Um, if you want. What's going on over there? Look. What's that all about? Oh, that's the edge of, edge of a chunk. That's why. And then over here, what's this? It's a chest, mostly bread. You see, we can see the entities through the walls as it were um, which obviously can be quite useful but let's say what's this red thing this red thing is oh, you never know you never know it's a monster it's a monster of some description again We'll never know. But obviously, again, that can be quite annoying when you're just building a small castle here. So only put that on if you need it. Uh, monsters dropped items in red. Chest and spawners in yellow. Oh, they show what I mean about this chunk redrawer as well. Um, see, uh, quite irritating. It's okay um, on that one if you start doing come on, one, one, one. <laughs> Annoying. Don't really need that. Undoing, just in case you're wondering. Um, but again, that's personal preference, really. Turn that off. Um. Okay, so those are your basic tools. Now, let's say, for example, we want to build I don't know, a bridge. Let's first off delete this cube of stupidness because it's stupid. Select it, press delete. Right, I'm going to make a bridge going out there. Let's start off with a little bit of road for instance so we want say some brick slabs stone brick slab there you go 
um, and we will bish bash bosh three wide um, and now there is one issue um, but actually there's a couple of issues one stairs it's there only seems to be one way of putting down stairs and I've not found any way of changing the orientation um, if there is by all means let me know but the only way I know how to do it is to cut it and paste it back in and hit E to rotate it which obviously is not ideal um, right let's pop you on there so there's a little road segment for our bridge um, I'm just going to clone that a couple of times in that direction to give us a decent slab. Lovely. We will clone that again, um, delete it, move it out here a bit and you'll see why in a minute. Hold down nudge, bring it back up to the same level um, it's 28 from there so we know it's all lined up something else is zero and glue deselect what we want to do is just put some stuff on underneath um, stone brick slab, stone brick stairs we want just stone so stone to get rid of the pistons um, and we want stone in fact let's do stone brick there you go that makes life even easier and should we have just plain ones we'll have just plain ones for now okay as you can see your last seven or so it holds down here um, and we want to bang 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 there um, or what could be even easier is square uh, three five yes by one bosh there you go whole thing lovely um, made it hollow I'm um, put noise in it rather didn't need to so that's again just to fill that hole in um, and then three by you know five by one actually let's do it like that there you go and then uh, like that but we'll give it a height of seven is that gonna be enough scroll that with the mouse there you go um, and then click on that unfortunately we have to put the filter back in stone bricks we have mossy um, if we go to the bottom we can scroll that down a little bit click on that there you go to be honest with you, that could probably go down again, couldn't it? Because this water is quite deep. All the way there. And one more for luck. Actually, things start to get tricky now because we're quite difficult. There you go. Okay. So, that's our bridge support, um, there's a bit of bridge, 
uh, what we will do actually is just um, clone you there and again there deselect right select the whole thing um, oops sausage fingers scroll it down and get to the point where I can actually see it good and I will copy that just so I can put it up there uh, delete that, don't need that anymore and I will clone it Um, click on the edge again doesn't matter where because three two one zero that's the same height apparently and it's very difficult to see sometimes because of the, the way the 3d works but there you go that's now level um, don't copy air don't copy water so that's just copying the block itself if we copy air it's not gonna matter too much but it will matter when we get over here if we copy water then obviously it's going to be a right old mess. Um, and let's, let's bring it all the way to here. What are you doing? That's my cat jumping up my chair. Um, clone that. That's a quick think. Deselect. Oh, lovely. Um, Let's undo the deselect. Let's bring it back, back to where it was, which was there. Clone again, but this time we'll go in the other direction. Uh, nudge it back down to there. Uh, nudge it that way. And let's clone this bugger and we'll clone it out to sea as far as we can to six to seven twenty eight and look at that that's bang on the edge as well that's quite quite sexy clone there you go, special sound effects. And there you have your bridge. Lovely, sexy bridge. As you can see, the lighting's all screwed up, but it doesn't matter. Um, as we will hit. Control S. And we wait for that to sort itself out. Okay. We've got a rogue bit of cactus there, but let's not worry too much about that. Um, the lighting's all sorted itself out. Hunky dory. There's our, sp There's our spawn point. There's our player position. So let's quit out of that and go and fire it up in Minecraft. Okay, so here we are. Little purple man. Hello, purple man. As you can see, this is where I... Uh, Place the place start spawns over here somewhere, and a quick look around the village. Is there anything exciting going on? Here's a man in white coat. Hello. He must be the scientist. And there's our bridge. Legitimate double village. There's my sunken houses, as you can see. 
this one is just about usable. And does have a workbench in. It's getting dark. This house on the other hand. It's not very useful. Well. See, it's full of sand. Right, where's my bridge come? One thing we didn't do with the bridge is put any lighting on it. But let's go see it anyway. Um, run before the bad guys come. For some reason, our cactus is still there. Um, it's because the um, the blocks haven't been uh, updated in game. Uh, this is how you can get floors of floating sand and stuff for traps. If you did a selection like that and then out here somewhere that was flat filled it with sand and then came into game you would have a flat plane of sand floating in mid air um, obviously when you then put a torch on it or knock one of the blocks or anything like that the game will update and all of those blocks will fall um, as will you if you're standing on it and you die a horrible death the question is why don't the zombies attack the big nose men. That's uh, something that should really happen, I would have thought. Uh, and indeed, why don't the big nose men attack the zombies and the skinny bobs and all everything else? But that is a story for another time. I hope um, I hope that helped you. If you want to try an MCE, maybe you want to make a little adventure map or something, or a race for the wall, or just import some blocks into a map. If you want to know anything else, a bit more in depth, then by all means stick a question in the comments and I will see if I can answer it. I'm not an expert by a long shot, but um, I can hold my own. and. I'm quite good at MCE. Hey! Um, so, if you liked, do subscribe. Um, I have quite a lot of Minecraft videos. Some of them, I've been told, are alright. And uh, do like, do pass on to your mates, do post in forums, do whatever you can to let more people see. And I will speak to you soon. Cheers! Thank <laughs> you.